that exist today to help you to know more about HMS and how to use Huawei mobile services in your app. And of course, answering your questions. Now let's take a quick brief about the HMS app innovation contest. <clears throat> uh, as we know, this competition aims to showcase the work of talented developers in five global regions, Europe, Asia, Pacific Latin America, Middle East and Africa, and China. Uh, okay. Uh, now let's talk about uh, the contest uh, schedule. Uh, at the end of July, we start the app, app contest to be alive and we planned a live workshops to help developers with their integration with HMS. And uh, from the end, uh, this, this started from the end of July to the end of August. And at the 21 of September, we will make announcement uh, at the top 20 apps. And after this, we, we will continue the public review until 4th of October. And at the end, we will make the announcement to the final ceremony. Here, as you see at the contest stages, at the first stage, we will have uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of ideas and a lot of, a lot of keys that you need to sign up at the contest and submit your works at the first stage. And at the second stage, uh, we will review all the APKs that uh, submitted and all the ideas that we have. And uh, we make them uh, review when we make the review for them. And after this, we will have the top twenty app, and these twenty apps will uh, make will we will make a public review for them. And at the end, we will have eight winners for this competition, and we have a judging uh, for these eight apps to select the, to select them from the twenty apps. When we say you need to submit your works, you need to uh, release the your uh, your app at the huawei app gallery and we need to integrate your app you you should integrate your app with hms core and hms services uh, the prizes that we have uh most outstanding uh apps we have five five winners for this category of uh of, of, of this competition with uh, fifteen thousand uh fifteen thousand dollar and we will have uh, most outstanding game. We have three winner game with the same prize. And um, uh, we have also uh, three most social impact, impact apps uh, with the same price, uh, $15,000. And um, we have also most popular app and we will, he will uh, win uh, with $5,000. And uh, we have also honorary mentions. Uh, we will have uh, 20, 12 apps that will win uh, $2,000. Uh, this is some of uh, our live shows, uh, as you see here. Uh, we opening the ceremony at the 13th uh, of July. And uh, my colleagues uh, was sharing uh, the, their code labs before. We talked about the HMS toolkit and push kit. And today I will talk about the ads kit, it's this workshop for today. And also we have analytics kit and we have augmented, re re augmented re reality workshops. And uh, <clears throat> at the mid of October, we will have uh, HMS innovation contest MIA final ceremony. Uh, if you want to see uh, all these things, you can find uh, the source of the previous workshops at our uh, at our page, and you can also see them at the YouTube channel. Let's go next. If you have any uh, any questions and you have uh, or you need to follow up for us to. Uh, to know more about the updates about this competition, you can follow us at the Facebook or Twitter. And we have uh, also our webpage, www.tawawi.com, that you can refer to all kits and how to use them. And uh, everything that you want, you will find it at www.tawawi.com. 
Uh, thank you for listening for the, this brief about the competition. <clears throat> uh, now, let's talk about the ad kit. Today, we will talk about the ad kit in the HMS ecosystem. Let's get to know the Huawei Ads SDK as provided as Ads Kit. For developers, has to integrate this SDK into your app to easily obtain and display ad content for monetization. This part, uh, this part consists of two sections. Section one introduces the ad, Huawei Ads service. Section two teaches you how to implement an ad kit. First of all, let's talk about uh, what is uh, Huawei Ads is, and why Huawei Ads, and the supported ad format. Uh, at first, uh, let's look how a successful app evolves. First, uh, a product idea is proposed, then the app is developed, and the app is released in the app gallery. Have to release a series of marketing activities and conduct to attract users as the as the user base increase uh, now it's time for monetization the traffic uh, for sustainable business growth and expansion therefore uh, using uh, user gaining and monetization are key, uh, are key to the successful app and the Huawei Ads platform lets developers monetize efficiently and advertisers gain users effectively, making it vital support for sustainable app business. And now we will talk about the advantages about um, uh, advantages of uh, Huawei Ads Kit. The Huawei Ads has the following advantages. First. A rich, uh, a rich source of adv uh, advertisers, developers, access high quality ads without having to manage advertisers' relationships. Second, easy of access developer simply integrate the SDK to obtain ads. And third, single tab install and unified UI design for better, better user experience. And of course, high revenue by Monetizing your app with high full rates and high ECPM by leveraging Huawei competitive revenue share ratio to uh, to ninety ninety percent for developers in twenty twenty. Incentive policies and large variable advertiser base. Uh, in addition, large number of premium customers provide developers with high full rate and competitive ECPM, which is uh, short for effective cost per mile. Moreover, good ads experience improves uh, retentions and deliver high conversations. It uh, brings great, uh, great ben uh, benefits to developers and advertisers. Actually, not uh, only this. We, we, have, we also have main functions. Uh, Huawei ads get to provide the open advertising identifier known as OAID and install refer capabilities for, for advertisers to deliver personalized ad, uh, ads and attribute uh, conversations. The OAID, the OAID is non-premium device identifier. You can use the OAID to provide personalized ads for users while protecting the privacy. In addition, you can uh, corroborate with third-party tracking platform to the OAIDs for conversation attribution. And uh, also we have the privacy protection in the ads kit. You can obtain user OAID and think of disabled personalized ads through open APIs provided by Huawei. And if user turn off disabled personalized ads, you can use the OAID to trace and recommend personalized ads, uh, improving the uh, adver uh, advertising uh, versus, uh, if the user turn on disabled personalized ads, surfing personalized ads based uh, on the OAID is not allowed, but you can still serve non-personalized non ads to the user. And uh, we also have uh, uh, the app install, uh, app install referral, 
you can obtain app and install referral through APIs provided by uh, our SDK and uh, use them to attribute conversation to different promotion channels. Uh, to help you monetize traffic and uh, uh, to help you to monetize traffic, uh, the Huawei Ads SDK offers, offers the developers three ads formats. The first format is banner ad. Uh, the banner ad, these are rectangle images that uh, QPS spot at the top, middle, or bottom of an app. Uh, layout banner ads refresh automatically at regular interval. When user tab of banner ad, they will usually redirect to the advertisers advertisers page. Uh, if you can start with the banner ad if you are uh, new at mobile adv uh, advertisement. And also we have a native ad. Uh, the native ads it's um, these are ad material displayed on custom interfaces to fit sim uh, seamlessly into your uh, content. Users uh, usually uh, use the uh, they didn't uh, tend to recognize the native ad at the first sight. Uh, and also we have the reward ads. Actually, the reward ads it's containing three types of ads. We cash ads and reward ads and, uh, and uh, interstellar app ads like this. And the reward ads in general, these are for screen videos that reward user to watching a frequent example of in-app rewards uh, like our renewal or bonus points in game or movie coupons and uh, video apps. Uh, and we have the slash ads. Actually, this, this type of ads, uh, uh, you, you will find this, uh, this type of ads and only in the Huawei ads kit. Uh, the slash ads are displayed immediately after an app is launched, even before the home screen in the app is displayed. And we have interstitial app ads Interstitial ads are uh, full screen ads that cover the interface of an app. Uh, such ads uh, are displayed when the user starts, pause, or exit an app without distributing the user experience. This is the type of ads that we have. Uh, now let's talk about how uh, how the ads how the ads uh, flow works. First, an advertiser place an ad on Huawei Ads platform. Then, the developer integrates the Huawei Ads SDK into their app and use the APIs provided by the SDK to request an ad from Huawei at, uh, from uh, the HMS Core. Finally, the HMS Core obtaining an ad from the Huawei Ads platform and return the end of display to display an app uh, as a developer. You need uh, you need a slot ID, add slot ID to integrate into that uh, to, to, to integrate this ads into your code to obtain to obtain this ID to obtain this ID. Uh, you need to find your app information and apply for add slot ID on Huawei Ads Publisher Console provided by uh, Huawei Ads Platform. Now let's talk about how uh, you can create uh, a slot ID. Um, at first, uh, when you're creating your uh, Huawei developer account, you will find two types of uh, developer account. We have individual uh, developer account, and we have enterprise developer account. Uh, for now, uh, um, we support only the enterprise account that can generate the slot ID. But uh, we are still working for now to make the slot ID uh, accessible for individual accounts. Uh, so when you create your account, you need to create it as enterprise account for now. Uh, because you will find uh, if you check our website, you will see the ads. It's uh, provided for enterprise developers, not the individual account for the for this current time. But it will be available soon to the individual uh, individual developers. Uh, so um, in order to create a slot ID, we must need to have enterprise developer account. Uh, and for the individual developer's account, there's no right to create ad slot ID for now. Uh, now let's talk about the uh, process, how we can uh, create an individual, uh, how can we create a price uh, account. Uh, first, you need to sign up to Huawei developer website. After creating Huawei developer ID, 
we will uh, we provided with two options individual or enterprise accounts as we see at the previous page you should select the enterprise account uh, the enterprise developer account uh, and then uh, provide all necessary information in the form as shown in the in the, this image as you see here we have a legal entity name uh, legal entity name in English, the UNS. If you don't have uh, the UNS number, you can you you can use your your business license. And uh, we have a country region. You should uh, you should follow all of these required fields. And we have a state, and we have a city or town. We have an address, and we have a HQ phone. Uh, and for content information, you should uh, fill up uh, the name and job title, business photo and business email you should fill up all these things that is required to to to, re to register as an enterprise account uh, after you fill up all these things um the review uh, the review time will take from one to three business days for verification then you need to be a merchant uh, you need to be a merchant in order to use uh, hms ads kit also after making your account as merchant it will take one to two business days for verification. Uh, this step is after you register as enterprise account. Uh, you, you can use the steps uh, like this, uh, how, to, how to become a merchant. At first, you, you should log into the Hubbard developer website. You should uh, then go to the console. And under settings, you will find merchant service as shown in, in below, as, as you see here at this image. Uh, after this, uh you need to provide uh, you you need to provide your uh, your bank details information here as shown below like this uh we need to a bank country region bank name branch name uh, pic account number account uh, account name and account number and you need to confirm your account number and support uh, currencies and default settlement currency you should you should apply all these things to become a merchant and the, the, the last step of becoming a merchant, you need uh, to provide your tax related information here as shown below. You need to enter your company name, region and state, city and address, tax qualifications and VAT number and tax verifications file, like this, like this image. And finally, you can click at submit to save the record for verification. Now, uh, uh, let's talk about Huawei Ads Publisher Service. After the proceed proceeding uh, steps are, com uh, are complete, you should uh, opening the uh, Huawei Ads Publisher Service. At the Huawei Publisher Service, as you see here, uh, you need at first go to the Huawei Developer Console and click at Publisher Service, uh, App Service. If no Publisher Service card is displayed, Upon the first sign in, you click uh, uh, the button that uh, with the uh, text uh, DIY uh, in the upper right uh, corner to add the publisher service card. Uh, you should read the Huawei Ads Publisher Service Agreement that is uh, then display, displayed. Uh, if you agree, select, uh, by, uh, select by clicking this box. Uh, I confirm that I have read and agreed. Uh, to be bound by Huawei Ads Publisher Service Agreement. Uh, the agreement task effect immediately. If you have signed the service uh, agreement, you can view the, the signing record in uh, in my account and download the agreement, and you can check them like like this this uh, this photo. Uh, then we after we registered as a, as an enterprise account, then we we become a merchant. Now, how we can create the ad slot ID? Uh, at first, we need to add an app. In order to create the ad slot ID, we need to create first an app. This app will help us to connect with Huawei, uh, with Huawei ads. So the first step, you need to sign into your uh, Huawei account and select the publisher service as shown in the photo. You should click at this, uh, at this, uh, at this uh, icon. And uh, uh, then, you you need after this uh, select the publisher service we need to go uh, to my apps and select uh, add app as shown below uh, after this 
we need to select an app name from uh, the drop down list like uh, here which we have already created in the agc when we select the app from the drop down it will automatically fill up the rest uh, as you see here uh, after that you need just to click at the submit button uh, button like this finally it will uh, it will looks like this image you will find uh, the, something like this and then we need to add a unit slot id now we are at a unit or slot id uh, currently how we add support uh, as as we, as i said before we have a banner native native ads reward ads and interstellar ad and uh, splash ads you can add uh, units for the ad formats based on the app running status so uh, how can i add the uh, ad unit uh, at first uh, on huawei ads publisher console you should click on my apps and click uh, add uh, add unit id as you see here at the photo in the operation column uh, in the operation column uh, then we have to choose an ads format as shown below you will find here all uh, our ads that we have you can choose what's what type of ad uh, that uh, compatible with your app uh, and after this uh, after selecting an ads format fill up the unit information including the name and media type and uh, complete advanced setting as uh, required here we will find the banner ad you should fill up all these things the ad unit name media type and ecpm i will talk about the ecpm later this is very important uh, to understand uh, the ads and uh, here we will find the splash ads you need to fill up uh, the same thing uh, the unit name and media type and here you you will find the frequently control like this one i don't i will talk and uh, uh, explain what's what this mean later and we have also the reward ads you need to apply these things for reward ads uh, as you see at this picture you here you find the reward item and reward amount uh, this is the extra from the previous one and also we have the native ads the native ads uh, looks like this you should uh, apply all these forms as you see here and we have interstitial ads like this you need to uh, add unit uh, name and media type and uh, you need to, uh, to, uh, to fill up these things for uh, interstitial ads like this we have minutes and hours and days and a lot of things so uh, what is the ecpm the, EC uh, the ecpm we can set the minimum ecpm for an ad unit uh, if the bid of an ad is lower than the minimum of uh, ecpm you set the ad is not displayed so uh, <clears throat> a too high minimum ecpm may lower the ad fill rate and we have the frequently control to ensure the experience of users <clears throat> we can use the setting to control the number of uh, the number of uh, ad impressions the time unit of frequently control can be uh, as we said as, as uh, at the previous image it can be a minute or hour or day if you select a minute the time cannot exceed 16 minutes and if you select an hour the time cannot exceed uh, 24 hours if uh, we select day the time cannot exceed 13 days and the uh, end you need just to click at the save button and you will see add unit created successfully like this um after this you will see uh, this column as a slot id here as we see at this image and you can click at this icon and will copy the add slot id uh, this is the business uh, introductions and uh, this is the business business introduction and how can use uh, uh, the enterprise account how to create an enterprise account and how to uh become a merchant and how to create your slot id um uh, for now uh, we have uh, some cp sharing uh, they will come to share their uh, their experience with uh, with our kids Uh, 
uh, for now we are waiting uh, Hello, Honor. Uh, yeah, thanks for your session. And I need to remind the audience, please, if you have any question, please write it down in the comments section, and we will answer all of your questions at the end of the session. We are waiting now the next speaker. Uh, let's let's uh, see what's uh, what's the developer website that we have. Uh, to get a experience. Awesome. Okay. Uh, but I will see you the how we develop our account. Uh, here you will find uh, our website. Here you can um, here you can see the app up twenty twenty and our events here, and you can see the our code labs here. Uh, here you'll find all our kits and uh, uh, all our kits and uh, the code labs for them here, as you see. And you can uh, always see our kits here. You can find a lot of our kits and a lot of services that uh, are very useful, and uh, uh, you can use them and you can go to any one of them. Okay, uh, this is the, as you see here, as our account kit, you can uh, view the documents like this. Uh, as you see here, you will find the overview about this kit and you will find the service features. And um, here you can find the use cases, uh, what does this mean? And you can find a lot of things here. And if you go to the examples, you will find uh, our examples with uh, available technologies that we have. Uh, here you will find the uh, sample code of Java for PHP. If uh, you, you open another ads, another uh, app or another kits, you will find uh, you will find uh, you will find uh, the all details that you need. Uh, actually, here, if you go to the events, you will see our events that uh, currently happen, uh, the App Innovation Contest. And if we, if you click on Join Us, as you see here, you can register at this uh, at the website. As you see here, you will find the rules, you will find the learning things, as you see here. Uh, if I go to the competitions here, you will find a lot of, a lot of things that happen now at this competition. And you need to keep uh, a follow-up uh, for these things. 
and I said before, uh, you can also refer to the, our YouTube channel. You will find uh, all all these things uh, also at the YouTube channel. If you go here at uh, YouTube, and uh, right here, power developer channel like this. You will find this this uh, this Huawei developer. You can click uh, on this, uh, and you can you can find uh, all Huawei developer that you need. You will find the uh, opening ceremony for Middle East, and you can find a lot of things here. Uh, yeah. And if you need uh, any things from here, you can go to the videos like this, and you will see a lot about integrations and uh, a lot how to integrate a lot of kits like this you can find also the aman stories this is one from the sharing of our cps uh, you can find a lot of things actually here Any, everything you need you need to uh, you know just need to subscribe to this channel and you will update everything that's happening also this session will be shared here after this session is end uh, now I will show you our code labs actually. We have also code labs. If I go to any kits from these, I would go, uh, for example, for ads kits. Uh, if I click at the code lab here, as you see here, we have a lot of steps that we need to do. Here we will find the introduction about uh, the kit itself. Uh, and here, uh, you can find uh, how to create th this and how to learn about these things. And here's some requirement that you should you have. Uh, this here, are what, what, how can you start with this ads? He will tell you the steps uh, one by one, as you see here. We will see these things at the code lab actually. But I will uh, show you these things uh, until our CP is uh, uh, sharing their uh, entering the, this slide. Uh, and uh, we have also this uh, XML file, as you see, something that you can do. Uh, you need to follow all these steps, and you can click on download source key code like uh, like this, and it will open our GitHub repository. As you see here, you can find all the full code for each uh, each kit uh, that you need. Uh, this all all related to the ads kit that we will talk about it today. And also you can find the Kotlin code here, actually. Our GitHub repository, uh, as you see here, you can find all the full code for each, uh, each kit uh, that you need. Uh, this is all, all related to the ads kit that we will talk about today. And also you can find the Kotlin code here, actually. Our okay, so now the CB is coming. And he will share uh, his experience about uh, how he used the uh, ads kit and another kit from uh, HMS Core. So I will. Hello everyone. Can you hear me? We can hear. Okay. Sorry, uh, I've had a uh, lot of complication getting in here. I'm not used to the platform. I'm very sorry. Uh, <laughs> no problem. No problem. Okay. This is uh, Muhammad. Can you hear me? Uh, hello. We can hear. Yeah. I'm okay. okay. I'm here. Sorry. Uh, hello. Okay, so uh, this is Mohammed Abu Naga. I'm uh, the co-founder of uh, Halan. Uh, 
which is uh, Africa's fastest growing app for 2019. Uh, I have, I'm, I'm a tech business developer. I have been working uh, in the technology industry as a business developer since uh, 2009. I worked with uh, several uh, companies. I worked for Fowry. I worked with several other uh, smaller startups. Uh, today, I'm uh, explaining Helen, and I want to start uh, with giving uh, a thank you note to the Hawaii team and Mr. Mustafa Ali for the support they have been providing through uh, the last year and a half uh, to us as a startup and uh, in explaining how. Uh, uh, Huawei App Gallery works and then uh, making sure we see the value of Huawei and honestly it was a great journey and we benefited a lot as a team and as a company from uh, what Mustafa and the team have been providing to us. So uh, shall I ask you to change the slides or, or do I have a place here to change the slides from? Uh, hello Ahmed? Yes. Okay, so Halan is the is the, is it started off as a two and three wheeler uh, ride hailing uh, company in uh, Upper Egypt only, and then we uh, this was in November of 2017, and then we started to uh, increase our footprint in Egypt, uh, moving into Giza and Cairo and other places around Egypt. And for those of you who don't know Egypt, Egypt has 100 million uh, people living in it, and uh, more than five big governor rates, uh, big as in serving a couple of millions of people. And then we started to, uh, to, to, to open our delivery arm since we already had the fleet. So we signed off with Americana, which is the franchise owner for KFC, Pizza Hut and Hardee's. And we started to work with them and we created a lot of incremental business to Americana in the early days. And then we, uh, after Americana, uh, we signed with McDonald's. And then uh, today, we are the biggest tech-enabled last-mile food delivery company in Egypt. And then uh, after that, we uh, we 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 uh, piggybacked on our uh, one of our investors, which is Mashruay, to start and selling, uh, doing commerce and selling things with installments. And then after that, we rolled on to uh, having our own uh, wallet and we applied for this uh, in the Central Bank of Egypt to have a wallet. And we did get the, the preliminary approval for the license and we were already working with uh, being a fintech player now. And in parallel, we opened the Sudan uh, uh, office, first ride healing and then delivery. And now uh, we're also testing uh, in Ethiopia. Can we move to the next slide, please? Those are some quick statistics on Helen. We have around 2.4 million downloads. The latest number is 2.436 uh, million downloads. And we had around 80 million requests. Around 70 million of those are B2C and 10 million of those are B2B since inception. Uh, we sold around 2,000 items in white goods and two and three wheelers. We also sell those on our app. And we have around 50,000 registered drivers on our system across our own markets. Can I move to the next slide? Can I move to the next slide, please? Yes. This is the team. And as we say, our word is it's all about the team. Our CEO, Munir Nakhla, is the top microfinance uh, entrepreneur in Egypt. He runs Mashrua and Tasahir, which are together the biggest uh, loan book in Egypt, 4.5 billion Egyptian pounds, which is around uh, around $300 million per year. Ahmed Mohsen, who used to uh, be my uh, partner for a couple of years before, uh, he's a security slash uh, tech uh, entrepreneur. He exited two other companies before Helen. Dina Gabor uh, used to be the CMO of GB Auto, which is the biggest automotive distributor in Egypt. And myself, serving for Fawri and Karim and other companies, uh, we, we are the leadership team of the company. Next slide, please. Uh, we have around 30,000 uh, three-wheelers on our application. Uh, three-wheelers, if you don't know it, it's, 
it's a bit smaller than a car and cheaper. It costs around $3,000. And it moves in the streets where there are no paved roads and the balconies are lower than the regular ones. So it's very convenient for many areas in uh, Egypt where the cars cannot go into. Next slide. And we have uh, a, a huge number of motorcycles that co compared to other companies, uh, it's quite big. And th the reason we, we were able to do this is because uh, Gabur or GBO2 are the biggest uh, manufacturer of uh, motorcycles, two wheelers. And Mashrui, which is our other investor, is the biggest uh, uh, lender for, three, uh, for two wheelers. So we were able to access a lot of data and access a lot of uh, networks for this and this made us able to ramp up our fleet being the largest uh, uh, company in Egypt to have registered motorcycles on the system. Next slide. We also have 1,500 tricycles which might look as a small number compared to the others uh, but tricycles in Egypt are treated like trucks. They carry up to half a ton of products and they are licensed to move things. So they are uh, like small trucks for us that we use for our peer-to-peer -peer delivery and consumers and B2B delivery uh, of non-food goods. Next slide, please. We have uh, a whole uh, uh, variety of services uh, that started with the three wheelers and two wheelers, as I said, and then rolled out to other products for the B2B. Uh, we have daily promo codes going to our customers and daily communication with our captains uh, or our drivers and we have a trackability feature in the app that make it make it more uh, accurate and we have our own maps we have a layer of our own maps on top of the google maps to cater for the smaller streets and the harder areas and we also have uh, recommendation engines for the drivers and the, the partners to be able to use our system uh, in the best format possible next slide uh, on the on the on the side of the warehousing, we have uh, a couple of small warehouses uh, that we use to facilitate our logistics and courier arm. We worked with big names uh, in, the, in this area to be our partners. We uh, we delivered uh, a, a big uh, amount of uh, Vodafone uh, giveaways in Ramadan. Uh, we also do a lot of uh, sales to white goods. Uh, uh, sorry, service to white goods sellers. And those small uh, warehouses are allocated along or across Egypt. We have around four of those, and we use those uh, to 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 maneuver around Egypt and deliver things and stuff. And also, the app users can order uh, anything up to 500 LE from our app, and our drivers can go and get it for them uh, uh, in the places where we operate. Next, please. Uh, we have a, a huge amount of partnerships. Uh, with large retailers and uh, we, we have partnerships with, uh, as I said, the biggest FMB players in the market. We have 142 partners uh, for the B2B delivery. We have around 20 partners on the consumer side. We have around 10 people who you purchase from the items. And uh, we have uh, three partners for the lending side uh, that are all investors with us that help us push good offers to our uh, consumers. Next, please. Uh, we started getting into the wallet area with a partnership with Fauri that I used to work for, and we started to do bill payment to our uh, 2.4 million uh, installs or uh, 800,000 active users. And uh, we, we, we started to do this, and then we increased this to be uh, a loan collection wallet for people who took loans from any entity that we work with you can pay the loan at home instead of going down and moving into the traffic and stuff like that and we also allow people now to use the wallet to direct debit from their balance in Helen uh, to be able to buy stuff and do all our services in a fully inclusive system for the underserved uh, communities in the countries we operate in. next please we operate in Cairo Alexandria Aliobeya Khartoum in Sudan and soon in Adama in Ethiopia. Uh, we have a plan to be the biggest uh, player in this area in the region. Uh, we also have plans to uh, be the super app 
of uh, Africa uh, one day. Next, please. Uh, on Hawaii App Gallery, we were able to get more than 200,000 organic installs with the help of the Huawei team, with our tech team and marketing team. We have dreams to get to, have, to hit 1 million installs uh, during 2020. We have a dream to be number one on the Huawei list during 2020. We were able to hit number three uh, on the Huawei store in Egypt. And we really like Huawei uh, App Gallery interface. We think it's very simple. The user uh, reviews are very good uh, on this gallery. And we like that the market is now more diverse. It has more competition. It's not only Google and Apple. Uh, you also have Huawei. And we make sure to place the Huawei App Gallery icon on all our materials. We have a big campaign com coming up with two big celebrities, actually three, that are uh, doing an ad for us. We made we placed our App Gallery, uh, the App Gallery icon on it with instructions from the Huawei team and with support from it to fit our designs. We are asking Huawei to help this startup grow and this startup to move up because this startup is a reason for uh, employment of more than 50,000 people in Egypt, which is, if you multiply by four, it's around 200,000 people are getting income from this startup, besides around uh, 800,000 active users getting uh, good service, whether it's fintech, whether it's delivery, whether it's peer-to-peer -peer tra transfer, whether it's ride hailing from our platform. So uh, we need Huawei support and we are happy with all the, 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 the support we're getting till now. And we're happy with all the easiness and the seamlessness of the platforms and the developer platforms and the ad platforms that we're using. Thank you very much. And we were displayed as one of the people in the Huawei uh, App Gallery TV CEO, and we really appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you, Nagati. And now for the next speaker, Paragali from Clex Egypt. Hello, everybody. I am uh, Mohamed Fargali, software engineer at Galaxy Egypt company. Nice to meet you all. Hello everybody, I am Ahmed Fargali, software engineer at the Clixi Egypt company. Uh, nice to meet you all. Today, we, I'll talk about uh, Clixi Egypt overview. Clix Egypt apps integrated with uh, Huawei mobile service, Zagel and DM7, and the Huawei ad kit introduction, banner ads and interstitial and native ads. Firstly, we are Clix Egypt. Clix Egypt is one of the leading software company specializing in content management system and the native advertising solution. Working with top publications in Egypt, DM7 and Egypt today, 
and we are the owner of the Google Content Aggregation Mobile App. Galaxy Egypt apps with Huawei mobile service. All our apps are available in Huawei App Gallery. We have integrated four different kits, Bush kit and the ads kits, analytics kits, account kit. Let's talk about Zegel. Uh, Zegel is a content aggregator application enable users to read and browse updated content from server from several portals and websites in addition to watch their favorite channels or listening to any radio station. It has uh, four HMS kits, analytic kits, and ads kits, bush kits, account kit, and our ability is now available and all of this are live now in App Gallery. Yum7, Yum7 largest news app application in Egypt and Middle East. The target of Yum7 application is keep users updated with the latest news in Egypt and the Middle East. It has three HMS kits, analytics kits, ads kits, and push kits, and also app ability is available in the next version of the app. How we add kit introduction? We, we use three types of uh, ads in our applications, banner ads, interstitial, and native ads. Banner ads are rectangular images that occupy spot at the top, middle, or bottom within apps layout. Banner ads uh, refresh automatically at intervals. Interstitial ads are full screen ads that cover the interface of an app. Such ads are displayed when a user starts, pause, or exits an app without distributing the user's experience. Native ads are typically ad materials that are displayed on the customized interface of an app so that they can fit seamlessly into surrounding content in the app. Thank you. Uh, thanks to our CPs to sharing uh, their experience with uh, with our kids. Uh, now uh, I will share the code lab. It's a pre-recording video. Uh, we actually are making it uh, as a pre-recording because uh, to reduce the Welcome everyone to our code labs. Uh, now we'll start uh, to uh, writing our ads get uh, code. Uh, we'll just get all, all the ads that relate to the ads get. Here you'll find uh, our website uh, that I opened before. Uh, here you find the code labs. As you see here, if you scroll down and you click at the code labs, you can find all the code labs that related to our kids. So now let's start with the, something uh, simple with the ads kit. Uh, let's choose. We have a lot of things of ads, so we'll, we will start with the panel ads. So we will click at the start. Okay, let's see this. Here you can find the introduction about the banner ads. The banner ads as a rectangle image that QBS spot at the top, middle, or the bottom with the apps layout. As I said before, this is the, the presentation. Uh, you can find the introduction. All, all, all one of them, you'll find the introduction for, for them, for each one of them. Uh, now uh, you will find uh, what you what you will create with this code lab. Uh, we will create uh, Huawei Ads as the kit, request uh, a banner ad, and we will display a banner ad. This is what we will do, and we will learn how to integrate the Huawei Ads as the kit. 
and we will display the panel ad in the in this sample. So let's move to the next. Uh, now, what you will need, actually, here you we will need the hardware requirements and we need the software requirements. For Huawei requirements, hardware requirements, we need a Huawei phone running Android. Uh, if you don't have a Huawei phone, you can use our service that called uh, uh, cloud. Uh, cloud uh, our service called uh, cloud debugging. Uh, you can use it to upload your APK at the cloud and testing uh, and make all your tests at the cloud uh, at the cloud one. Uh, Uh, now for the software requirements, uh, we need an Android Studio. We need the Java JDK with 1.7 or later, and we need HMS Core for for or later. And you can check the HMS Core for your device by going to settings apps uh, apps and search for HMS Core and check the version as you see at this photo. Oh, and you need to check all these things because if you have missing something in one of them, uh, the ads are not working properly. So you need to check all these things. Now for the next, we have the initialized project. Here he told me to create a new project, naming it, and I click at finish. Okay. Let's uh, finish from this step at first. I will copy this one to re to create project with this name, and now we will go to the empty activity. And now we will put the name as Huawei Ads SDK, and we choose language like Java, and everything is okay now. Finish. Now we are waiting uh, creating our project. Okay. Uh, for now, we are waiting the Gradle to finish build. Let's start with the steps to how to initialize the ad SDK in your code. Okay. Uh, at first, he said you should add the map and repository address in your project level. So, this is the Maven, uh, Maven uh, repository. We need to copy this line of code, and we need to go to the Android. As, as you know here, we can find the different format for our uh, code structure. I will take project, and I will go to the app. Uh, here you can find the two builded Gradle. You can find one at the app level, and you can find one at the project level. So he told me to add this thing at the build Gradle, that exists at the project level. So here I will paste the line of code at the repository and uh, I will paste it also at the all project. Okay, now we will click at sync. Okay, this is the first step. The second step, we need to add this line at the app level, uh, build the gradle. We will go to this, uh, this file at the app level, and we will scroll to find the dependencies, and we will add this line of code at the dependencies. And as you see here, we have add slide that contains all uh, the paste logic of our ads SDK. Now sync, okay, the sync is successfully. Uh, now, okay. <clears throat> uh, now, if you need to publish your app as a release mode, you need to add the obfuscation code, obfuscation script. Actually, this code is responsible for, uh, you, you know, at, uh, at release mode, the code structure will be uh, different from the debugging one because um, the, uh, the release mode, uh, uh, it's making some obfuscation to code. It will optimize the code and will ignore all, all the dependencies that are not related to the code directly. So here we need to add these two lines to, uh, to keep our classes to not be obfuscated at the release mode. So if you have any weird uh, any weird uh, error that happened to your code, please check you are adding these two lines at the 
regard to the rules pro so this is the 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 main function of uh, of obfuscation script so you you need to add it uh, to your uh, pro guard uh, rules to and here we will adding it just pressing it like this now we will move to the android structure or android module and now we will uh, opening the main activity okay now let's move to the next step uh, now we need to initialize the huawei ads sdk uh, you can read the how, what would, what uh, he told you to do actually he actually just uh, need uh, from you to use huawei ads to initialize on only create method of the main activity so we will copy this one we will copy this one at the only create so at first we will copy this one and we will paste it at the only create here we need to make an import for huawei we're importing it okay uh okay now we need to add a panel review class. Uh, actually, the panel review class you can make it in two ways. You can read it by uh, the XML file, and you can making it from the code itself. So you will find the panel review from the XML file like this, and I will copy this one and putting it at the main activity. So I will replace this one. So oops, I need to copy and get at the old page like this okay <clears throat> uh, okay here if you check the properties that we have at the panel review from the xml file we give a, give them the id to binding it from the java code and uh, we give them the uh, layout width layout height and we give them the add id this ID actually that uh, I was told before at the slides, this is for test, uh, test ID. Uh, each type of, uh, of, of ad, they have a test ID. You can use it to test your ad if it's working fine or not. And we need to put the banner, uh, banner size like this. We have different sizes actually. You can check what's, uh, app you, uh, what's app need. And now you can find a documentation, the slot ID that I said how you can create it before um uh, and now this is this is the code how you can create the banner view from the uh, code side uh okay we will import all the, these things that we need uh but uh, okay as you see here we set the ads id banner ad size same things that we're setting it from the xml file Okay, now let's check what they need. This is the way that I load the loading it from the XML file. So I will remove the code because I didn't need it because I have uh, already an XML file that have a banner view. So I will uh, import the, just the add parameter as you see here. Uh, and it's uh, very simple. It's, I just need to load the add. And we here we're finding the find the view by ID to find the view and uh, defining the add parameters and uh, then we load the panel review as you see here okay now i guess this is all th these things that we need uh, this is as i said before if you need to create it from the code itself you can use this one from the java code without using the xml and finally we have we should see something like this so we will make run okay this is the app uh, that, that, that i used to mirroring uh, my device screen so i will scan the qr to display my screen okay now we can you can see my screen okay the top will move it yes okay <clears throat> here we will make uh, another run for it and you can find the banner ad in your app. 
at, at this at this format. Uh, this is the size that we chose, and uh, as you see, it's a banner ad, and uh, he have a lot of properties that we can use, as you see here. Uh, if I click, uh, oh, as I said before, this is the very simple ad that you can start with uh, with your ads. Uh, and you can earn money from this. This is that it's very easy actually. And if you, if I click at this ad, it will navigate me to the advertisers page, as you see here. Uh, so we close this one. And if I click at the uh, close button that you see at the top uh, right, I will find the hide ad or why did I see this ad? You can complain this ad or you can hide it. So I click the hide ad and you, as you see, you, we, I can't see this one. The hide is hidden now. So this is the related about the panel view. Uh, I just want to open it again to make sure the ads is... Uh... Okay, it's a bit now. Now let's uh, choose uh, another one from the ads. So I will click at done to get back to our code labs. And here I will find, uh, let's choose something like uh, uh, ads, reward ads, and we have a splash ads. We will choose the reward ads at first. Okay, here as you see, as we see before, you will find the definition of the reward ads. You can imagine how this ad will be implemented in your code. So it's a full screen videos ad that user obviously view uh, in exchange for an app rewards, as you see here. You mm -hmm. can find the introduction about it. And here we will set what you will create. Uh, we will, in this code lab, we will create an reward ads and displaying it at our app. And this is what we will make here. So, uh, and the requirements, if uh, you check, uh, if check these requirements, it's the same of the panel ad. It's you need the Android, Java, and uh, all these things. So I will skip this one. So for now, I need to uh, uh, implement the same, same steps that we implementing them before at the panel ad. So, the, the thing and don't forget to add the obfuscation code. I don't think we have to add anything uh, because we add all these things before. And we don't have anything else to add it here. So now he told me to initialize the Huawei ads as ZK. So the same things we initialized before. Here he will be creating a reward ads object as you see here. Uh, from the main activity. Okay, I will copy this one. As you see here, this uh, initialization is taking the context and the uh, uh, slot ID. Uh, so this is ID for the test. So I will copy this one. I will initializing it at the uh, onic period. Like this, after initializing the uh, actually, I need to see the full code because if I see the full code, I will uh, more understanding how the uh, variables being uh, created and uh, defined. So um, let's take this uh, this this view. Okay, and now we will uh, paste our layout that we copying it, but at first I need to orientation to be as a vertical. Uh, and now we need to uh, put our button like this. And we will change the name because I don't uh, want to add these things at the strings uh, file. So we will call this a start watch. Okay, for now what's next? He told me here to add it that strings, but I want to add anything to my strings. I need to add it uh, directly with the code. Okay, now he told me I can load watch a video button. This is when he clicked at the. 
here he he just need to find the view by ID for the button itself, and we uh, put the set on a click listener at this button, as you see here. So, and at the only click, we loading the had reward. So I just copy these things. And we will go to our main activity and we will paste this code. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I think I need this this uh, this layout. So if I find here, I will find another actual layout. They add text view and he loading the score view. So he have a lot a lot of UI things uh, because as you know, the reward ads usually using uh, the game itself. If you watching this ads, we will give you more points and more scores. Uh, and if you have this score, you will have some points or something like this. So here he need me to initialize the text view that appears score. And uh, every time he watching the the ad, he will uh, he will have a point. So here you will find the load ad reward. How we can loading this one? Here, as you see, uh, if the can reward if, uh, if if the reward ad equal null. We need to create an uh, reward ad, and if the reward ad uh, loader listener here, you can find some useful events like uh, a reward ad failed to load, uh, and we test testing the message uh, at this event when uh, raise this event, and we on uh, reward ad loaded, we toast this event, and uh, after this we reload the ad. So we will copy this one, and we will put this code at our main activity. We will close this uh, this section for now. Okay. This needs some imports. I will make the importing for these things, and we will import the toast. Okay. Okay. We need the reward add and the create the reward add as we see here. So I actually, I said before, I need to show all the code uh, at once because I need to uh, imagine how the code structure uh, being uh, being created. So uh, I will go to the source code at uh, our GitHub. To make sure all things that I need is implemented in our code and uh, coding all these things is working fine. So I will go to the reward as you see here from our GitHub that, and I will click at the app and then I will click at CRC main resource. Or example, I need actually the Java code, so I will go to example main activity to Java like this, and here I will find all the Java code that related to the ads reward. So at first he said to me, I need to define these buttons. So and we have reward ad and we have score view and we have uh, score equal one and and default score is ten. So I will take all these things as a copy and I will paste them at the my main activity. I will import these things, the reward ads and buttons. Uh, okay. And he told me to initialize the ads. We will make this before. And uh, now we need to load reward ad and load watching video button and load score view so this is the steps that we need at first we need to load the ad then we need to uh, explain the ad to the to the users so 
I will take these things as a copy and I will paste them uh, at uh, our code. So here I will paste them. Now we need uh, this is the create reward. It's just initializing an instance from the uh, the reward app as you see here. It's uh, as I said before, taking the context and the uh, test uh, the slot ID. Uh, so here we will find the uh, load reward add. So here we will find uh, just making new instance of the load listener as we said before, and we toss uh, at the field and we toss uh, these things at the loading and we just loading the the add itself. So here you'll find the load the watch video button that I said before. When I click at this one, he just will uh, show the ads. Uh, the first code as was responsible for just loading the the reward ads, and here we are showing the the reward ads for the user. Uh, as I said before, just the button that we we put a listener for it, and when I click at this button, I will. Show this ad to the uh, user. So uh, we have also load score view and we have uh, reward ad show. As you see here, uh, at the when we show the ad rewards, we have a lot of events. We have reward ad, we have reward ad failed, we have reward ad opened, we have uh, Lot of things and at the field we just uh, toasting uh, on reward that failed and uh, when it's opened we also just toasting it's open and on reward we uh, after he finished uh, the, after the reward ad completed and uh, he watched this uh, this ad we adding some score and the ad score here we will find just adding uh, one point to this user after he watching it so uh, we'll start copying these things. We'll start with the add, add score. Okay, now we will take the uh, reward uh, add show, as you see this. Okay, we will put paste these things. And uh, we'll import the required things that we need. And now we need to load score review we will take this one and paste it uh, like this uh, actually this one needing a resource id okay we will check this one okay we know need also to load the watch video button we need to import the views okay all these things fine okay that final i guess this final things that we need to add load reward add we will paste these things uh, here. Okay. Now. Okay. We need to import the reward itself. Okay. What we have an issues? We have an issues here. Actually, uh, this is taking the context, but I still need the uh, slot ID. So I will go to the. Uh, sample itself, as we said before, the testing ID for the reward ad was exist at the code, at the code lab. So I will try to find the test that I find it before. Getting here, this this one. This is the test for the slot ID for the reward ad. So I will replace all these things and putting the test uh, testing one. Uh, okay, so now let's check what uh, we have an error. Uh, okay, we have we have this error. Uh, this error is related to uh, we have missing uh, missing layout. So uh, I guess they add this layout as the layout files. So let's let's uh, find this layout and adding it to our code. So we'll open the main activity XML as you see here, and we will. Oh, okay, this one. So we will copy this one. Actually, we'll, I will take all these things. 
because I defined the button before, so I will copy all these things. So copy these things and putting them at our code. Okay. Now we need to fixing the uh, strings titles. So I will fix them like this. Okay, this is looks nice, and we don't have any errors for now. We just need now to run our code to make everything is working fine. Okay. We'll click continue. And so, okay. As you see here, we have the title, reward ads, and we have the button, and we have also the score. As you see here, we have uh, three items here. When I click at the watch video, as you see here, we will find the reward ad. This is called the reward ads that cover all the screen and start playing a video, and it have a timer, as you see here. Uh, and after I do one here. Uh, now you will see you watch the video and you and he reloading the reward ad. So if I go back, I will find uh, I will find the score become two because I watch the ads. Uh, if I click again and back without watching the video, it will show me this and will click at skip and you'll find the score keep two. So. This is uh, what uh, how reward ads works, and they usually used at the movies and coupons and gaming parts. And you can uh, use these few lines of codes also to earn some money from the ads kit, and it's very easy to use. And here you can find uh, all things you don't need to handle anything, even the audio, muting it or uh, playing the audio again. You can find the button for it and. Uh, this is what you will see, and we now we'll close this one. Okay. Now let's choose another ads to be implemented. Actually, we will make someone some ads that uh, my favorite ads. This is flash ads. It's very, very, very nice ads, and I really like it at, uh, at the apps. When you open the ad, it will show uh, the ads. Uh, Ads and uh, it's very very nice ads actually. I will skip all these things because we talked about them before. And here, as you see, the same steps that we make it before and now. Uh, we will, you will find the XML layout like this. And you will find the splash view like this from uh, our kids. And he adds some uh, things to to the UI things. So it looks so easy. So at first I will make the activity splash with the XML. So I will copy this name and go to our code and create a new layout resource file. And now we will uh, naming it activity splash XML. Okay, everything is okay. Now we click at okay. Okay, now we need to copy the XML file as it. We don't need actually to change anything at this. We just need to copy. So I will copy this one and we'll pasting it at our file. Okay. Uh, to understand what happens here from this layout, it's just giving me a layout, uh, normal layout. We will find the Android logo at, uh, inside it, and you will find the owner name. So this is the activity splash that we creating it, and uh, we will change the text as you see like this. Okay, uh, the context we don't need it actually. We will find these things from the Java code, so I will remove this one. Okay. Everything looks nice. Now we will, uh, as you see the logo here, it's the ID was 
even to the uh, splash view itself. Uh, as you see here, the logo, if I click uh, on it, you will find the relative layout that clicking this logo. And we put this relative layout at, uh, as as last screen. So uh, now we will uh, go to our strings and add these things because he need uh, the sample needs some some strings from it to build the UI. After adding the strings, we will. You can find you need to create a splash activity to Java, as you see here, to display the ad as you see here. So we will create a new class, and this class we calling it as splash activity to Java. So this class is uh, need to be overrided methods on create. So we will copy this overrided method and putting it like this. And we need to extend the app compact activity like this. So we need to import, okay. And we need to import the bundle. Okay, now we have a splash activity. Okay, now we need to initialize the ads. Uh, we already make these things, okay. But uh, as uh, the slash screen is loaded before the code itself, so I need to take uh, this line of code. Because the code will come to splash activity before it's coming to the main. So, at the underneath first, actually, we need uh, to make the splash activity as the launching activity. So, we need to copy. Uh, things that related to the splash activities. So as we notice here, we have splash activity, and we have the main activity as you see here, and don't have anything else. So we just need to copy the activity that related to a splash activity. So we will copy this, and we go to the our manifest, and we will paste these things here. If I even get to this, okay, it's uh, taking it, so he can see this. So everything is working fine. Uh, okay, now uh, the category of this uh, activity is uh, as a launcher, and it's a main. So we need to remove the launching from from the active, main activity itself. So we remove this from the main activity. Okay. Now we uh, will see how to load a uh, slash ad. Okay, let's uh, see how to load the splash ad. Actually, this is uh, related to the Android itself, how to load the splash activity. So uh, we will make the class name as this. We don't need to change anything actually in this class. So we will copy these the variables. Okay. And we will take the timeout handler. This is responsible after the time is finished to navigate us to the uh, main activity. Okay. To make sure all imports as uh, we want, so I will copy the importing from this file and putting them here like this. Okay. Let's just check what we need also. Uh, okay, we need the analysis from the, the splash view, so we'll make a private splash view. And now we need to take the uh, splash add loader, as you see here. We have slash add uh, load the not. We need to make a new instance from it, and we will have uh, some overrided function from it like uh, on add on and dismiss a lot of things. So I will copy this and I will paste it like this. Okay. And now we need to add play listener. 
uh, and here you can find the, at the same event of the loading itself some events that as said before you can use use them and we make some tests for for it and now we will add the ads play listener as you see here we'll copy this and pressing it like this okay and uh, on on create he loading the ad so we need to add this kind of code to our ad okay and we know create to copy the loading itself so we will paste these things as this as I said for this is all related to the splash how to make splash activity on android so all these things you make one before it's the same things actually uh, so this one is responsible for starting, uh, uh, finishing the splash activity and starting the main activity. Okay, now let's copy the uh, on stop. This have only the operated method as you see here, and uh, just to pause things. And so here we'll copy the restart. That is for the restart and the on destroy and on pause and the on resume okay we'll paste this okay but now let's try our code if it works or not Okay, we will continue. Next, install, open, uh, then to open. We are running it again. Okay, it's running again. Um, the app didn't open, I don't know why. So, it looks like we have an error, so we will check our errors to check if we have anything missing that we can have it from the log. Uh, so, nothing related to the output. Mm. I can't see any things that related to the ad skip so we don't have anything that related to the ad. So I will make the same thing that they make it before. Make sure all all our code is consistent. So I will go to the GitHub itself and I will go to the I will go to the uh, splash uh, repository. And I will open the app and then I will go to the CRC and I will go to the main and I will go to the actually I guess uh, maybe we have an issue with that splash to the Java so I will go to with this file so actually we'll copy all these things copy make sure we all copy all these things as as we want so uh, okay he, he can have an with the package name so i will copy after at, under the package name that i have then it was my package name and i will delete the one from the example so so delete this one i just need it okay everything is working fine now let's try to make it run for our code Okay, install, open. Mm, this is so weird actually. I don't know why he didn't open the app. Um, this is so weird actually, why he didn't open the app. But uh, 
uh, it stops working, but uh, he didn't open the app. I don't know why. So here we will just open the uh, app itself again. Uh, as you see here, on the, when I click at the app, I will see the slash ad like this. I guess the device itself was stuck before. I don't know why. But uh, now if I click at the Huawei ads uh, kit, you will find the slash ad as well, as you see here. This is the slash ad, and it looks so good, actually. So this is the ads kit that we need to implement in it today. So thank you for watching this code lab, as you see here. Uh, so So if anyone, we can go with the questions. You can write the questions uh, at the questions area at the right. Uh, you can write any question that you need. If you have any questions about the ads kit itself. So we have any questions. Yeah, um, now we can answer all the questions. So I think we don't have any questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And thanks all. for all the speakers and thanks for the audience. Thank you for joining us. Thank you all. Bye-bye.